Hi, I'm Mick McGuinness and I'm the product manager here for DB Marley. I'm also a long time user and fan of Instana, having worked as a consultant with the Instana products since 2016 when they launched their very first version. So with DB Marlin, uh, what we've tried to do is to build a modern database observability tool, which shares a lot in common with Instana, but is very much focused around deep dive into database performance. We're also looking at changes both within and outside of the database to see their impact on database performance. So when we started to build the DB Marlin product, we wanted to incorporate a lot of what we liked about the Instana product. So things like one second granularity, the nice modern interface where you can get to the root cause of problems very quickly and something that can be used by lots of different teams. So not just database administrators, but also roles like SREs, DevOps engineers, developers, data reliability engineers, performance engineers, and so on. So what we came up with was the DB Marlin product, which currently support Oracle, Postgres, SQL Server, MySQL, MariaDB, uh, IBM DB2, and Cockroach DB. And we can support those both in the cloud and self-hosted. And from the very early days of DB Marlin, we added an integration with Instana where you could click through from DB Marlin into Instana. And then recently we just added uh, a link back in the other direction. So now we have bi-directional integration between the two products, which is what I wanted to show you today. So to enable the first of these integrations, you simply go into your settings and then integrations. And then here, you just need to give the Instana host address and also with that, the API key. Once you've done that, what you'll see then is when you start to look at database performance inside of DB Marley, like here, we're looking at a MySQL database. You can see there was a perform slow down here, which lasted for about five minutes and we can see that was down to a locking issue in this case. And where we can link through then into Instana to see the impact from the application side is if we go here, we've got a tab called databases. Within this MySQL instance, we've got a couple of databases and it's this top one here, orders DB, which is where most of our time is spent. And here you can see the Instana button. If we click the button now, that takes us into Instana. Now looking at the application part of Instana, you can see it's found a matching service here called orders DB, which is a database service of type MySQL. And you can see the impact here. So during this five minute period here, you had a complete drop in the calls going through the application. And over here, you can see a big spike in latency. So that's the first of the integrations I wanted to show you. But what we've added recently is a link back in the other direction. So from Instana back into DB Marlin. And the way you enable that is through a browser plugin. So you can see I've already got it installed up here and you can find this on the Chrome web store. So it works with any Chromium based browsers, including Microsoft Edge. And so you can see here, you just need to tell it the URL of your DB Marlin server. So it knows where to click back to and where the button will appear on the Instana side is when you're looking at a trace. So if I just drill down into one of these slower traces here, containing a long running SQL statement. So I've got one here, over here now on the right hand side, you can see the SQL text and just below that, because of the plugin that we've got installed, you see a button here that says find SQL in DB Marlin. And if I click on that button now, it opens a new brand tab. It goes to our new SQL search tree, which is actually doing a fuzzy match. So even if it's not an identical match, it will show you the ones that have the highest similarity score. So in this case, it was this second statement here is the one that I'm interested in. Uh, going to this MySQL database. And so I could click in here. And now what I've got from the DB Marlin side, which I couldn't see from the Instana side, is the reason why this statement is suddenly taking a long time. It's because here, as we saw earlier, during that five minute period here, it was locked out basically. It was waiting for a lock to be released. So hopefully that's useful now. We believe that the combination of the two products, Instana and DB Marlin, is the best solution out there for giving you that end-to-end -end observability all the way through from end user all the way through to the database. If you want to get started with this, if you're an installer customer already, then you can get one free premium license for DB Marlin. The way to get that would be to go to the website. And from there, if you go to the installer page, you can click on the special offer, fill in your details here, and you will receive a free premium license to monitor any one database of your choice. 
If you need any more help, you can reach out. I'll put the contact details up on the screen now. So thank you for listening and look out for more videos coming soon.